presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Romans chapter 2, verse 13. Here is a question. Are you sure you are a Christian or you are a child of God? Because you need to be sure if truly you are what you confess every day. Are you sure you are what you confess? Because the owner of this word we confess every day it is beyond our confession. And the purpose of you confessing that you are a child of God is not to tell people or to announce to everyone that, yes, you are a Christian. No, 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 no. It's because of salvation. This is what, you know, disturbing me. Confessing that you are a Christian you are a child of God, you do not need, you know, a certificate or to go to Bible school or to be a student of the Bible. No. It is the word from your heart. Because you know that what you are saying is what you are and is what you are doing. Are you sure you are a child of God. Because judgment is on the way. There are two judges. The one in the spirit. His judgment is based on the truth. The judgment of this world is based on the evidence. When I say evidence, you can even, you know, bring something and accuse someone to say you are the one who steals this. But when it comes to the truth, it is within your heart. His judgment is based on the truth, not the evidence. When I say the truth, I mean what you are calling inside your heart, not what you are calling. You may carry the Bible as an evidence that you are a child of God, but you're not calling the truth inside your heart. Everyone can see that, yes, Mulenga is calling the Bible. That is the evidence of me being, you know, a, a Christian. To our judge, who is above everyone, his judgment is based on the truth. You do not need anyone to tell you that you are a Christian or you are not a Christian. You need to be sure that yes, I am what I said I am. And this is what I am doing. Let me carry you in this book of Romans 2, verse 13, because of time. Verse 13. It is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight, but it is those who obey the law who be declared righteous. Indeed, when the Gentile who do not have the law do by nature things required by the law. They are a law for themselves, even though they do not have the law. There are people, you know, who are good, naturally. They don't fight, they don't insult, but they are not Christians. There are people who do not drink beer, smoke or do any bad things but they are not calling the truth for it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight but it is those who obey the law there are two things that we are learning here hearing and obeying is not the same 
Hearing and obeying is not the, you can hear my voice. It doesn't mean that you are obeying the word of God. If you obey the word of God, you live according to what you know you are hearing from the Bible. If you cannot obey, you can hear it crystal clear, but after everything, you go and do whatever you used to do before. Personally, me as a human being, when I look at how many people that I've known for so many years who are no longer part of this world, and I'm here, why am I here? What am I doing? These are the questions that are always clicking in my mind. If I were to leave this world today, where am I going to be? Where are those people? Are they enjoying their lives where they are? Children of God, this is not all about the people who respect you or the people that you know. It is all about salvation. It is all about salvation. Nothing else but salvation. For it is not those who hear the law who are righteous in God's sight. It is those who obey. Indeed, when the Gentile who do not have the law do by nature things required by law. Take note of that word. Do by nature things required by what? By law. And yet they are not calling the same law. You can you not live that religious life. People may see you as a Christian, but you know yourself that you are not a Christian. This is where my argument always is in my heart. Why should I pretend to people to be a child of God and yet I know what I am going through? I know what I am doing. I know who I am, the type of the person. You cannot entice God to do your own agenda because you confess Christ. No. It is your heart that can call him or attract him because of salvation. Jesus said in that book of Mark 3, verse 35, he said, whoever does the will of my father is my brother. Because his mission was not to recruit members. He came to save. His mission was not to recruit members. No. All the days that Jesus lived here on earth, he had only 12 people following him. Apart from the ladies who were, you know, cooking for the disciples and him. If it was, you know, about recruiting people to be, you know, his members, uh -uh. by the signs and wonders, I'm sure Jesus in God is church But his purpose or his mission is salvation. Whoever does the will of my father is my brother. Are you there? Are you there? Take note of this in verse 14. Indeed, when the Gentiles who do not have the law do by nature things required by law, they are a law for themselves. Even though they do not have the law, they became the law for themselves. You can carry you know, this book outside, but you are not carrying the same book inside your heart. This is my question. Are you sure you are a child of God? Are you sure you go to heaven at the end of your journey here on earth? If you are not sure that you go to heaven or you'll be saved at the end of your life, then what are you doing inside the church? Why are you confessing to be a Christian or a child of God? Look at your character and the character of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Look at your behavior and compare yourself to the standards of the word of God. 
This is why I'm asking you this question. Are you sure you are a Christian or a child of God, in short? It is only those who carry the word inside their heart. You can call them children of God. My heart's desire and belief is that let everyone who says I'm a child of God know for sure that there's someone who sees beyond that confession. I told you earlier on, there are two judges. Our judges here on earth, they judge according to the evidence getting from somewhere, a witness. If you go down here, you discover that your conscience is your witness. When it comes to judgment from above, he knows your heart and he knows your thoughts. There is no need for God Almighty to say, go and bring that one, go and bring that one. No. Your first witness that who shall stand against you is your conscience. To testify against you. You yourself, within yourself, there is a witness inside you. Who shall stand against this life to say, yes, you did it. You confess what you are not. You pretend to be a child of God and yet, see what you used to do after church service. Or when you are at home or at work. You know, being a pastor, I am worried every day. The reason is very simple. Where you see people who are always, always found themselves inside the church, they are still gossiping, they are still quarreling. They cannot forgive. They are liars. They always create confusion, anger, stubbornness. And then you sit down and you wonder to say, eh, then who is going to be saved in this situation? There are people who can respect you in your presence. Immediately you leave, they'll start calling you names. Take note of this, more especially verse 14, in this book of Romans 2. Indeed, when the Gentile who do not have the law do by nature things required by law, they are a law for themselves, even though they do not have the law. Because if you carry this word inside your heart, know for sure that you submit to the will of God. But if it is just an idea, it is you now to control this book. Because the Spirit of God is no longer there. You are a natural person. You control the word according to what you think it is right. You do things according to your thinking, according to your plan. But when you become the child of God, you live all to the one who is righteous, more than you. There, you are a spiritual person. You are no longer, yes, you are in the body, but you are a spiritual person. You live according to the spirit of God's word, guidance and direction. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look at verse 15. They show that the requirement of the law are written on their hearts. They are conscious also bearing witness and their thoughts sometimes accusing them at other times, even defending them. That's why I love Jesus. You cannot lie in his name. The Bible says in John 8, verse 31, to the Jews who had believed in Jesus, he said, if you hold unto my teachings, you are really my disciples. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. 
Are you sure you are a child of God? This is the question you need to ask and answer by yourself. It is not a pastor or your fellow believer who can judge you. Don't mind those people who can call you that you are not a Christian, we, they know you. No, you yourself, you know if truly you are a child of God or you are not. There is no need to argue about that one. There is no competition when it comes to salvation. No. It is a personal decision that you take. There is no competition. You keep on defending yourself to say, no, why should you call me that I am not a child of God? Do you know how many years I've been, you know, a Christian? That is not the issue. The issue is between you and Jesus. His judgment is based on the truth, not the evidence. You can carry the Bible as evidence that you are a Christian, but you are not carrying the truth inside your heart. He cannot judge you because of the Bible that you are carrying, no. His judgment is based on the truth. And why is the truth? The truth is in your heart. Christians lies in our hearts. Not what we call it or what we say. If you ask any of your, your neighbor here to say, are you a child of God? He say, yes. <laughs> in fact, I was born again. Uh, you remember uh, in 19 when the man of God uh, who was going to be with the Lord came for crusade. That's when I surrendered my life to And this person is still lying. He's a liar. He has been lying or she has been lying, but because of that day, forget about the day, it is what you are calling inside your heart. A judge of this world will judge you according to the evidence on the ground. But your father in heaven, he will judge you based on the truth. You cannot go and you know, no, we are looking for the truth. He said the truth, is, no, the truth is in your heart. If truly you are a born again Christian, your conscience will be the one to say, yes, this one is a, is a true born again. So stop deceiving yourself just because you are a praise, you are an usher, you are a leader, you are what, you have been preaching the word. Think about your personal relationship with Jesus. Are you really you are a, a child of God as you are saying? If the answer is no, then your life is in danger. I always say this. There is life after this life. Mwilako mkame nso ya wantu watiba lishwati nda pepa. Please. Mshelesa lishwati mula pepa. That's a question. Wonders. As long as you are here, I believe that Jesus will touch your case. Mm -hmm. No matter what, Jesus will, will locate you and touch your case. Amen. But remember, you need to be sure if you are a Christian or not. I mean the child of God or not. There are two things. The judgment of this world is based on what? Evidence. The judgment of God Almighty is based on the truth. What does it mean? Simply means if you see me carrying this Bible, what does it mean? You know me as who? Eh? A Christian, a child of God. What about in my heart? Am I carrying the same Bible? This is the evidence of Christianity on our physical side. But the judge I'm talking about does not, you know, base his judgment on this evidence. His judgment is based on the truth. You cannot cut the truth with your hand. It is your heart. So, this is why, you know, as your pastor, I, I, I feel worried most of the time when I see Christianity has been like, you know, something that you can... It treat the way you, you think this is the right way to treat a, 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 a Christian life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Spirit of the living God. L'Esprit de Dieu. We are in your presence. Nous sommes dans ta présence. We surrender. 
nous abandonnons from the bottom of our heart profondément de notre asking heure. for your mercy and your favor demandant ta spirit of the living god l'esprit de dieu we bow down before your throne nous nous adonnons the throne of throne. mercy the throne of forgiveness the Donc throne of restoration throne de restauration asking more of your forgiveness nous demandons pardon more of your forgiveness more more of your forgiveness nous demandons more pardon more of your forgiveness ton pardon more of your forgiveness ton pardon more of your forgiveness ton pardon in jesus name dans le nom de jesus shall we declare it ask him ask him to forgive you déclarer le ask pardon ask him he knows your heart and he knows your thoughts il ask him il connaît tes pensées ask him demander le pardon ask him ask him demande lui pardon ask him demande lui pardon ask him demande lui ask him demande lui pardon ask him demande lui pardon i need forgiveness Diabète. you need forgiveness je besoin du pardon whatever you have said in the name of christianity and you, yet you know that you are not such a person in your heart ask him for forgiveness demande pardon tout ce que tu as dit dans le nom des chrétiens et tu ne pas les chrétiens ask him to forgive you demande le pardon qu'il te pardonne ask him to forgive you ask him to forgive you demande lui pardon ask him to forgive you demande lui pardon ask him to forgive you demande lui pardon in jesus name dans le nom de Jésus every spirit that are using your image tout esprit qui utilise ton image to fight your friend your family members they are calling you a witch on t'appelle sorcier they are calling you different kinds of names on t'appelle différents noms when you become a child of your father in heaven quand tu es le, le fils de dieu he will be there for you il sera no one is allowed to use your image personne ne peut pas utiliser ton image in the name of witchcraft satanism whatever or satanic power marine power ancestral power thank you lord jesus merci jesus i pronounce those words upon your life Je so that when you declare the light hand of god to remove them they are powerless those who are using your faces tout celui qui your image, image to fight your friend pour combattre to create friends. enmity I pronounce the right hand of God upon your life. Je déclare la In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Those who are using your mind, tous ceux qui your blood, ton sang, for money making, mm. I pronounce the right hand of God upon your life. Je déclare le nom de Jésus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Those who are using your mind, Your blood, your destiny, for money making, I pronounce the right hand of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say the right hand of God upon your life. La main de Dieu dans ta vie. You don't know this. What we are going through. There are evil people who are using our faces using our blood using anything that has to do with our joy i stand here je me tiens ici your blood cannot be ton sang destroyed by anyone ne peut pas être destroyé jesus died once through his blood you are released from that bondage tu... You are released from that bondage. Je suis libéré. You are released from that bondage. Je suis libéré. You are released from that bondage. Je suis libéré. You are released from that bondage. Je suis libéré. In Jesus name. Dans le nom de Jésus. Declare your release in the name of Jesus. Declare it. Déclarer ta liberté dans le nom de Jésus. Declare your release those who are using your blood. Déclarer ta liberté dans le nom de Jésus. Using your mind. Tout celui qui utilise ton sang. Déclare ta liberté. Qu'il te libère. Déclare ta liberté. Déclare ta liberté. Release yourself. Release your blood. Release your mind. Déclare ta liberté. Release yourself. Release your mind. Release your blood. Any connection to your blood. Toute connexion à ton sang. Release yourself. Sois libéré. Any connection to your blood. 
toute connexion à ton Release yourself. Sois libéré. Release yourself. Release yourself. Sois libéré. 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 Any connection to your blood. Toute connexion à ton sang. Say any connection. Toute connexion. To my blood. À mon sang. My mind. À ma pensée. My veins. My eyes. À mes yeux. My memory. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jésus. Say I'm released. Je suis libéré. Say I'm released. Je suis libéré. Release. Release yourself. You, you are tampering with my mic. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Tu vas libérer. 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 Release your blood. Release your blood. Release your blood. Release your blood. Sois libéré de ton sang. Release your blood. Release your blood. Sois libéré de ton sang. Release your blood. Sois libéré de ton sang. Release your blood. Sois libéré de ton sang. Release your blood. Sois libéré. Release your blood. Sois libéré de ton sang. Release your blood. Sois libéré. Release your blood. Say I'm released. Je suis libéré. Say I'm released. Je suis libéré. Say my memory. Ma mémoire. In the name of Jesus. Au nom de Jésus. Be released. Sois libéré. My womb, my message, in the name of Jesus, say be released, say be released, my heart, be released, my mind, my eyes, in the name of Jesus, say be released, say be released, release yourself, release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. Sois libéré. Release yourself. Sois libéré. Those who are watching, release yourself. Sois libéré. Release yourself. Sois libéré. Those who are watching anywhere where you are, I know that you are connected to your Father Jesus. Release yourself. Release your blood. Release your mind. Release your system. Release your home. Release your tubes. In the name of Jesus. Release yourself. Release yourself. Release yourself. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. You cannot control your spiritual life. Because what you are saying with your mouth and what you are calling is not true. If what you are saying with your mouth is true, you can control your spiritual life. This is why you see people feeding you, sleeping with you, chasing you. They can use you. Because you are not what you are saying. And the, 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 the people that you are fighting are evil spirits. They are in the spirit. You are in the flesh. You are confessing a spiritual battle in the flesh. And yet you are not in the spirit. When you sleep, they will come for you. They will useless your life. They will give you whatever spirit they want you to possess. Spirit of lust. Smoking and drinking. Fighting. All kinds of evil. But when you are released by Jesus, you know what you are supposed to do. Even in your dream you say no. You are a devil. Don't say you are a Christian. And yet you are not. Let me see your right hand. Because of time. I'm praying to God for. You know so that. Once we start the service. We can go beyond 20 hours. But as at now. Let me release you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand here with the truth. Je me tiens ici avec la the judgment of our Father in heaven is based on the truth. Le jugement de Dieu Not est our physical la evidence. The truth is in your heart. La est dans ton May you receive that sonship from your Father in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Dans le nom de Jesus. May you receive 
that sonship from your father in heaven you are no longer on your own you are under his might protection no one is allowed to manipulate your life no one is allowed to feed you with poison no one is allowed to possess your body in the name of Jesus. 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 Now touch your heart. Touch ton corps, ton cœur. Whoever is not part of the truth, tell that person that anyone who is not part of the truth, speak louder. Say anything within my heart dans mon cœur anything toute chose within my heart dans mon cœur you contrary spirit toi esprit contraire you are not part of the truth you spirit of gossiping spirit of anger esprit de colère fornication smoking drinking say you are not part of the truth I call you now. Je I force you now. Je te force maintenant. Leave my body. Quitte mon corps. Say out of my heart. So de mon cœur. So. 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 Command that contrary spirit to leave your body. Let the truth settle in your heart. Que la vérité entre dans ton cœur. Command that spirit. Contrary spirit. Tout esprit. Contrary spirit to leave your body. Tout esprit. Command them to leave your body. Tout esprit. Command them to leave your body. 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 Command them to quit your body. Command them to leave your body. Command them to quit your body. Command them to leave your body. Command them to quit your body. Command them to leave your body. Command them to quit your body. Say, 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 Command them to leave your body. Command them to quit your body. Contrary spirit. To leave your mind. To quit your thoughts. Leave your mind. Command them to leave your mind. Command them to quit your thoughts. Command them to leave your mind. Command them to leave your mind. Command them to leave your mind. Command them to quit your thoughts. Command them to leave your stomach. Command them to quit. Command them to leave your stomach. Command them. 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 Command them to leave your body. Anywhere where they are hiding, within your system, command them to leave your body. Là où sont cachés. Command them to leave your body. They are destroying your your life. Ils ont détruit ta vie. Destroying your system. Ils ont détruit ton système. Destroying your career. Ils ont détruit ton carrière. Destroying your marriage. Ils ont détruit ton mariage. Destroying your family. Ils ont détruit ton ta famille. Command them. Command them. Command them. Command them. To leave your body. De quitter ton corps. Command them to leave your body. Command them to quitter ton corps. Command them to leave your body. Command them to leave your body. Command them de quitter ton corps. Command them to leave your body. Command them to leave your body. Command them de quitter ton corps. Say. 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 Command them to leave your body. Command them to leave your body. Command them to quit your body. Command them to leave your body. Command them to quit your body. 
Commandez de quitter ton corps. 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 Commandez de tu es le seul garçon. There is no healer like you. Il n'y a pas de garçon. There is no situation that can embarrass you. You are beyond our situation. Tu es au-dessus de notre situation. You are greater than our problem. Tu es grand que nos problèmes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Spirit of the Living God. L'Esprit de Dieu. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous encore. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous. For a flesh upon our lives. Descends sur nous. In Jesus' name. Dans le nom de Jésus. Soak your family with the blood of Jesus. Soak your family with the blood of Jesus. Cover them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Cover them with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Soak them with the blood of Jesus. Dans la puissance du Saint Esprit. Soak them with the blood of Jesus. Cover them with the sang of Jesus. All your family members, your children, your brother, your sister, tes frères, tes sœurs, your wife, your husband. Soak them with the blood of Jesus. Couvre-le dans le sang de Jésus. Et dans la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Soak them with the blood of Jesus. Couvre-le dans le sang de Jésus. 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 Couvre-le dans le to our service every Wednesday and every Sunday. We thank God for their lives. We are receiving emails, you know, as a confirmation of testimony. You see some of our brothers and sisters coming here to testify the goodness of the Lord in their lives. Even here, there are people sending the picture and everything for what happened, like this one is... Um, from We thank God that God can reach all of us. Spiritually, there's nothing like where your eyes very far. No. Even in Lusaka, Angola, Uganda, I have seen emails from Uganda, South Africa, uh, which one is UK. If God can reach any, any part of this world. He is ever present. What is important, it is for you and me to maintain, you know, the grace of God upon our lives. And it is my prayer to encourage my brother, send your prayer request or keep on praying for you through that email. God is going to answer your prayer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I soak with the blood of Jesus. And I cover with the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus Christ's name. God bless you.